So how are we doing today? So live, it's uh, it's uh, almost one o'clock in the morning right now. We're over here at Venice Beach or Santa Monica, you could say. So how, so what's up? How you doing today? How's it going? What are we doing? How you, what's going on? I am currently working on the Guinness Book of World Records title for the most music released on the internet. Um, currently we have uh, 99 albums on datpiff.com and um, we are looking for the fans to look toward datpiff.com, download the application to their phone, it's a free app, um, and um, when you search so live you're going to run into an album called I Am The Revolution. I'd like my fans to search for the intro, um, it's in the beginning of the first hundred songs. The album I Am The Revolution holds 500 unreleased records from Soul Live um, on one album. Shout out to uh, my whole team, Steel City. Um, shout out to Tizzle Grimm. Shout out to Jacario. Uh, all my generation changes that helped me get this far. Um, Soul 350. Just to name a few artists from the 352. Shout out to the 7 for 7 and 813. Bad, it's a little tiring out here. Done a few music videos today. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. So uh, on album 100, we'll be called I'm the Revolution. And it will hold 500 songs total on one album. For me to become the only artist in world history to ever release 500 songs on one album. It's the Guinness Book of World Record title I'm going for right now. Uh, why did? Why are you aiming for this goal right here? Why are you aiming? For what's, what's? I just feel like hip hop is not where it needs to be, and I feel like it doesn't get the attention that it deserves. So I felt that maybe by doing something so drastic, you know, on album 50. For those that don't know, um, if you search so live on that piff and you find the addiction, there's 225 songs on one album. So I kind of wanted to defy holding the world record for the 225 and blow people's mind on album 100 and release. 500 um, songs to kind of double up on the record, you know? I feel you, I feel you. I mean, I wanted to do 600, then my homies are like, you know, it's really not that, it's not, you, know, you don't have to take it that far. So 500 was just like a solidifying number, like, who's done that, you know? Yeah, yeah, on their yeah. 100th album, who's released 500 songs, you know? It's not even thought of, so. I'm just trying to have my fans like slowly wrap their head around it that I defied all odds just because the Guinness Book told me that it was numbers and has to be something that we can count. Mm -hmm. So um, I figured that if they couldn't count the first 50 albums and the first 225 songs in album 50, maybe they'd be able to count a total of 100 albums and there's 225 songs on album 50 and then fast forward to album 100, you have 500 total songs. So maybe they can wrap their, you know, minds around that. Yeah, minds around counting that many because yeah, yeah, they haven't yeah. given me my world record. I feel you. So I guess it's just a letter to the Guinness Book of World Records. Why are you paying attention to people like myself and others, um, independent artists that are really, really, really working hard, um, trying to inspire the culture, trying to inspire the youth, um, more or less. So um, I just wanted to defy the odds and. You know, I have friends and family and, and, and a lot of people, acquaintances, that say I shouldn't have done this. But um, I did it for, for a reason. Uh, not only the Guinness Book of World Records, but to show people out there to really put your mind to doing something that can be done. So, um, so I told my fans in the 352, the 813, 718, 727. I'm really just um, I'm out here in LA on tour. Um, with the homie punk gang, you know. And um, shooting videos, doing interviews. Slowly gonna be uh, entertaining the world with this information. So I just wanna shout out my camera crew. Um, my big bro for interviewing me, you know what I'm saying? What are the questions you got? Where are you originally from? I'm actually originally from the Bronx, New York. Um, a lot of people don't know that. Uh, they think I'm in Florida. My mom moved us out to Florida uh, when we were young, me and my brother Ray. Uh, 
got a brother, you know, a half brother named Michael, and two sisters named Valerie and Stephanie, who I love dearly. Um, my mom just uh, she thought it would be easier to raise, I guess, me and my brother out in Florida. So, you know, my, her and my dad separated. Um, uh, she moved us out to a place called Coral Springs. Fast forward to ninth grade, we ended up somewhere in Spring Hill. It's a small place that's not even on the map of Florida. Shout out to the hill, though. When you see this, you know what I'm saying? I still got love for the hill, because just because I'm out here in Hollywood don't mean I went Hollywood, you know what I mean? It's not where you're at, it's where you're from. All right, But yeah, um, I had a little bit of time raised, being raised out in Fort Rockaway when I was uh, sent home. I was being a little badass, so sent, my mom sent me home to uh, New York, lived in Fort Rockaway for a little bit. Uh, back and forth from New York to Florida, and then I just kind of took it on tour. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Any, any uh, clothing lines or anything coming out with, anything like that? Yeah, as a matter of fact, the uh, Bronx Baby is the clothing line. Um, we have... Uh, now, we don't have a set date for the clothing line, but we have a, a definite apparel line. You know, we have 40 different shirts. We have uh, sweatsuits, hats coming. Uh, it's really big. This is one of the t-shirts right here. Oh, shit. Um, the Bronx Baby clothing line. It's myself on the front. With the fists in the pockets, the regular generation changes style. And the heart that's um, faded, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's really what I'm doing right this, uh, at the moment, you know what I mean? I just finished the album 100 recently and uploaded it to that pit, but I haven't turned off, so it's not really let yet for listening. But um, I'm slowly, if you follow me on Instagram, on the S0 underscore live, um, you can uh, see the mixtapes that are coming, you know, as, as we go. Because it's going to be like a step, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be scrolling on Instagram, you're going to be seeing the steps of, you know, the mixtapes and the albums that are coming thus far. <laughs> Right now, I think that's all the questions I have, or we have for today. Uh, do you want to tell us one more time for your Instagram, your Facebook, your, yeah. your, your Twitter? Uh, Twitter, Snapchat.